Tech World Skills Namibia is joining the rest of the world in celebrating the annual World's U World Youth Skills Day today. A member of World Skills International, World Skills Namibia has a mandate to promote technical, vocational education and training skills, uh, excellence and development in Namibia by hosting this biennial uh, national skills competition and subsequently representing the country at the World Skills International competitions. Now to shed more light on this day, we are joined this morning on the line by Kathy Newaka, who is the TVET Advocacy Specialist at uh, World Skills Namibia. Kathy, good morning and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Nina, and thank you for having me. Kathy, just uh, to start, so talk to us about you know the importance of uh, this day and what World uh, World Youth Skills Day is all about. Um, well, Nina, um, that's a very important question. The United Nations, at its General Assembly in November 2014, declared 15th July as World Youth Skills Day, basically a day to celebrate the strategic importance of equipping young people with skills for employment, decent work, and especially entrepreneurship. Since then, World Youth Skills Day events have provided a unique opportunity for dialogue between young people, private institutions, firms, policymakers, as well as development partners. WorldSkills is, however, very proud to be part of the global recognition and promotion of skills, and certainly this day. This year is themed Reimagining New Skills Post the Pandemic, uh, basically celebrating the resilience and creativity of youth through the pandemic, looking at the future. I understand that discussions have, of, and events have already started ahead of the key date. Um, what do these discussions and events entail? Kathy, can you hear me? Yes, Nina, I can hear you. I was saying I understand that discussions and events have already started ahead of the key date. Perhaps you can tell us what these discussions and events entail. Yes, discussions already started uh, beginning of June, and this is basically just uh, the key day to celebrate um, uh, the specific uh, the, the day, uh, which acknowledges that the role of a resilient youth as experts in respective skills is central as we rebuild economies. The day celebrates the resilience and creativity of youth through the pandemic. Participants, um, we will have a specific uh, discussion, a virtual discussion, where participants will take stock of how TVET systems have adapted to the pandemic and recession, think of how those systems can participate in the recovery and imagine priorities um, they could adapt for the post-COVID-19 world. Um, we'll have a first interactive panel uh, which will discuss skills, uh, skills that are needed today and skills that will be needed in the future. And then we'll have a second panel discussion that will reflect on TVET stakeholder partnerships for scaling up youth skills development. I understand a virtual global webinar will also be taking place at 5 p.m. today. And Namibians, especially the youth, are encouraged to participate. How do they go about registering to be able to be uh, a part of this webinar? Yes, uh, you are right, uh, Nina. The webinar allows participants to take um, stock, as I've mentioned, of TV systems um, that um, systems um, uh, to, uh, that have adapted to the pandemic and recession. Um, think of how those systems can participate in the recovery and imagine priorities they should adapt for the post-pandemic world, as I've mentioned. Um, there will be different uh, panel discussions focusing on... Um, on the needed um, skills for today and those that will be needed in the future. And as I've mentioned, uh, there will be a second panel that will reflect on the TVET stakeholder partnerships of scaling up youth skills development as well as employment. Um, we, we are hoping that the discussion um, will contribute to reducing unemployment and underemployment among the youth across uh, the globe, not only in Namibia, um, but um, we wish to tap into those world-proven strategies to make a success of our TVET sector locally. 
Kathy, what does World Youth Skills Day mean to vocational skilled workers and also how can stakeholders play their role? Kathy? Nina, I can hear you. My can question, you hear me? Yes, I can. My question was, what does World Youth Skills Day mean to vocational skilled workers and how can stakeholders come aboard and, and you know, also play their role? Well, a very good question indeed. Um, the day help raises the profile and recognition of vocational skilled workers, and it shows the importance of skills in achieving economic growth and personal success. Vocational workers are able to join the world to shine the light, um, to, to shine the spotlight of unheard voices, not only in Namibia, but around the world. This is an opportunity where we, um, we encourage the Namibian youth voices to be heard globally. Many vocational workers are invisible as societies take for granted that um, our lights come on, clean water uh, comes from the tap, and food is delivered to their doors. You know, the day has a rare moment of quiet to recognize vocational workers and champion our work. Um, Tibet has a, a, a key role to play in fostering the resilience of young people. It is therefore crucial for all stakeholders to ensure the continuity of skills development and to introduce training programs to bridge skills gaps. Solutions need to be reimagined in a way that considers not only the realities of the present, but also look at the full range of possibilities for the future, as I've mentioned earlier. Kathy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just your final remarks as uh, we do mark World Youth Skills Day. Um, I wish to take this opportunity to thank vocational skilled workers, especially that are too easy to take for granted, as I've mentioned. Um, uh, I encourage Namibians to look beyond the current challenges and focus on keeping the world moving. As young people, um, I want us to continue to showcase um, our adaptability and resilience at this challenging time. World Skills Namibia is calling on all TVET youth to especially submit video stories um, and photos of how they're coping and continuing to learn during the pandemic. Um, the stories will be shared as part of a campaign to mark World Youth Skills Day and highlight the importance of skills development of a resilient youth. Once again, Nina, um, I encourage Namibians, especially the youth, to register and participate in the virtual global webinar, which will take place today, um, just to highlight it between 5 and 6.30 um, Central African time. Kathy, thank you so much for being here with us and all the best with your activities as you celebrate the day.